In this clip, I will explain how you can adjust the settings that are displayed in the tables within the input menu. I can do this by using a table that is available in the tab Crop. Let's use an example. You would like to investigate the effect of growing potatoes and grass on soil moisture availability. In the experiment menu, you can see that I have opened the experiment potatoes. I'm going to use this as the control experiment. In the input menu, you see that the tab crop is not visible. This means that crop growth is not taken into account. In order to model a crop, you have to select Crop in the tab Main. Now the tab Crop becomes visible. Let's now take a closer look at the Crop tab. Here you will find a table that includes the rotation scheme of the crop that is modeled. At this moment, the table has just one row. You can see that maize is grown from May until October. You want to simulate the growth of potatoes, so you need to change the crop. In order to do this, I select the drop-down menu, Adjust Settings. The input fields that are shown here are those that belong to the row that has been selected in the table. It is highlighted in blue. To change the crop, I select an item from the drop-down list that appears under Crop Name and select Potatoes. Then I select Save. Now let's set up a second experiment where I will plan to grow grass in the second year. First, I need to clone the potato experiment and call this new experiment Potatoes Grass. Now I will add an extra row to the table. To do this, I need to duplicate the potatoes row I press the button Duplicate. I open the drop-down menu Adjust Settings again. The options you see here in this drop-down menu correspond to the row in the table that is highlighted in blue. Here you can see that the first row is highlighted. I don't want to select the first row, however. I need to select the second row, since I want to grow grass in the second year. I click on the second row now I select Grass and change the date Crop Start to 1981-03-01 and the date Crop End to 1981-12-31 and then click Save. Now you have learned how to adjust the options that are displayed in the tables. You can find tables in other tabs as well. In the next clip, I will explain the options of the output menu, which will allow you to visualize the results of the swap model using graphs.